Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to go over the rules for the game Hive. Let's go ahead down to the table here, and I'll show you how to play this game. Alright, so Hive is a pretty simple game. It's an abstract game that has a lot of strategy in what you do. In the game of Hive, you're going to have all these different bugs that you can command, but the game, name of the game is you're going to try to not get your queen surrounded and surround the opponent's queen. You're going to start the game with three grasshoppers, three ants, two spiders, two beetles, and one queen. On your turn, you're either going to place or move a bug. So we'll go over movement in a second, but to start the game, you're going, each player is going to place a bug. When you place a new bug down, after the first two are placed, you can only place a bug where it touches one of your corners, but none of the opponent's tiles. By the third, by the fourth turn, sorry, by the fourth turn, you have to have placed your queen. So any time throughout, up to the fourth turn, you're going to have to place your queen down on the board. Now you have, so let's say the opponent did something like, we're going to just do it like, with a couple different ones like this. Okay, so now it's my turn. I can pick to place a bug on there, or I can move a bug. Now... Movement for the bugs are all going to be different. So the grasshopper has to hop over tiles. And the grasshopper can hop into spaces that aren't reachable by other pieces, which we'll go over in a second. The ant can go anywhere on the outside of the board. So I could squeeze into here. I can pin down the queen by placing it there. That's what the ant does. The spider moves up to three space, has to move three spaces left or right. So it'd be one, two, three, and I would squeeze in there. And the beetle moves one space. However, the beetle can move on top of other pieces. And your opponent can move their beetle on top of yours. And the stack can go up to four on, the, on these tiles. Whoever beetle is on the top is the color that is the controlling color. That'll be important for placing other tiles out. That's going to be the movement on the pieces. I will mention the queen can move one space. So the queen can move one space and that's it. Now you can't move tiles like I could not move this tile which would break this. You always have to have a continuous line that all tiles have to be touching something. I could move this spider because these are still touching. And I can move this by one, two, three. Now, how you win the game is going to be surrounding your opponent's queen. Once that happens, the game is over. Now, it doesn't matter what color is surrounding the queen. All that matters is the queen is surrounded, so the queen wouldn't have any ability to move at all. Now, movement isn't that important for the, if, because if I had this over top but I had this hole on here, I still didn't win the green game. The queen has to literally still be surrounded. But if you think of it that way, you're fine. So that's it. That is all the rules there are to the hive. And that's the rules on the hive. Thank you for watching.